Hello everyone, my name is Jordan Beeman, president of HeartGram Beef. And today, I'm gonna to show you how I make the best cheeseburger possible. Our mission at HeartGram Beef is to provide people with the best beef eating experience possible. And that's what I wanna do with you today, is show you how I make the best beef eating experience possible when it comes to a cheeseburger. And I picked a cheeseburger because a cheeseburger is pretty difficult to write down directions of exactly how a recipe to be made. So that's why I wanted to come to you on Facebook Live and show you exactly how I get just the perfect cheeseburger every time. So the first thing I want to show you is the hamburger we're going to start with. We're going to start out with our Heart Brand One Pound Brick Hamburger. This is a new packaging product for us. So you might be, if you're ordering it in the next week, or even if you ordered it today, this is what we started shipping out today, a one pound brick package. It's going to come packed to you just like that. Nice black label on the back with some uh, cooking instructions and things like that for you to see. Uh, and our, it's our newest package. This just came out to us uh, right now. So it is gonna to come to you frozen, so I do recommend you thaw it out slowly. Maybe put it in the refrigerator 24 hours before you wanna use it, let it thaw out slowly. Try not to put it in hot water if you can. If you have to heat it quickly, just put it in some cool water and let it stay in that cool water and it might uh, thaw out in about two to three hours. So the best is in the refrigerator and if the refrigerator doesn't work, put it in a little cool water and still thaw it as slowly as you can. So we'll open this package up. I like to take a good sharp knife, cut right around the edges and as you're cutting around these edges, just slide the knife all the way around the edge, open it up, pull the nice chunk of meat out of there, and we'll make it into patties. I really like hand-pressed patties. When you have these hand-pressed patties, there's not near as much pressure on the meat. The meat still stays nice and nice and fresh and not too compact. And the first thing I do is make them into a ball. Squeeze them into a ball real good. And notice, no breadcrumbs, no eggs. We're making a beef patty here. We're not making a random whatever's in it patty. This is a straight heart brand beef patty. So 100% beef, 100% Akaushi beef. So put it in a nice patty. And one pro tip to remember is, make this patty thin. I'll show you this when we're cooking it. This patty is going to fluff or expand as you're cooking it. So try and make it as nice and thin as you can while you're making the patty. And make sure to always push these ends back in. Keep them nice and, nice and even. And I like to make about a six ounce patty. I think if you get too big, an eight ounce is more than what most people like. And I like to get a six ounce patty, make it nice and thin. Patty that look real similar to that right there. We grab about another six ounces right here. So when I do it, I, I usually do two at once. So I use both of those to make another patty. And then just form it into a nice ball like that. And then start smashing it out right in your hands. And in my opinion, there's no way better to make a patty than this. It's going to have the best bite, the best texture of any patty you can have. Miss Krause wanted to tell you hello, Jordan. She's hey. enjoying the video. Said hi, Jordan, and your family. Great. Thanks for watching. So another patty. I have another patty that looks look just like that. So these patties are ready to go on the grill. Wash your hands off right quick. We'll take those patties straight to the straight to the flat top. And I like to use a flat top because it gives a lot better sear. And sometimes when you're making a hand pressed patty, sometimes they don't want to stay together as, as well. But if you go to that flat top and you have a super hot flat top, they'll get a nice sear on there and the patties will stay together. So go straight from there directly to a flat top that's been preheated. So I've had this flat top on for about 15, 20 minutes. It's gonna be ripping hot when we get over there. If you don't have a flat top, you can always use a uh, Always use a cast iron skillet or some other type of skillet or either put a cast iron skillet on your grill outside. And another reason why I don't use a grill is because since these Akushi patties have a lower melting point, since they are a healthier beef, since they do have a positive ratio of monounsaturated to saturated fatty acids, the fat does melt at a lower melting point. So it will flare up on you. So I've got these patties here that I've already had made as well. So we'll go ahead and put these two patties on the uh, on the flat top and get started. So, so again, this flat top is extremely hot, ready to go. Take them straight off on here. Oops, sorry, need just a little bit of oil first. Just a small amount of oil. And I use a, uh, I use a high smoke tin oil. Right here I used an avocado oil, something that's, uh, that won't smoke as easily. And I'll put them straight on onto a really, really hot flat iron skillet. And, the, and some people, like to put some smash on a patty, some people don't. I am a fan of weight and smashing the patty. So I'm gonna take my weight here, right as my patty goes on, and I'm gonna smash it down. I like to have the patty thin as I go, and I like it to cover my butt. So, get that patty like that, and get it nice and, nice and flattened out there. Chef Austin said he'd like to take his medium rare, please. All right, Chef, medium rare. 
So speaking of Chef, Chef recommended this great tool for me. We're gonna try a thermopin. This is the most accurate way of judging temperature fast. And even if you cook like me, or even if you cook like Austin does every single day, and you're a true pro, there's no substitute for this thermopin in telling you exactly what temperature you want your patty at. So we're gonna let these cook. It'll take about uh, about six minutes or so for them to cook, and let them, let them sit on there pretty good before we do anything else to them. Try and get a really good crust on each on each side of there. And while we have a money set, just real basic seasoning. With akaushi, you don't need that much. I'm gonna put a little basic salt and pepper, just a little kosher salt, a little black pepper on each of these patties. Nothing fancy. We're gonna let the beans do the work and go from there. Salt and pepper on this one as well. So something I want to tell you all about is we're going to be doing heart brand joy being like this going to be doing another Facebook Live. We're going to be doing it on Thursday, April 30th. It's going to be similar to this, except we're bringing Jojo Corrales into the experience, and we're going to do a cooking competition between Jojo Corrales and myself. We're both going to cook up our favorite steak, try them out for a panel of judges, and we're going to settle the score. Jojo and I go back and forth about who's the best cook. We know who it is, right? I mean, we know it's this guy. Jojo might tell you something different, but on Thursday, April the 30th, we're going to settle the score, and we're going to determine who is the best heart brand chef between Jojo Kraus and myself. So I hope you can join in on April the 30th and watch it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's check out these patties. Give them a nice flip here. Got that patent. Flip them back over, and I like to get another hot spot of the grill. Oh, yeah, look at that char. No substitute for that. Good char on a patty. Put our weight back on there. Give it a good smash. Now, not everybody's going to tell you to use a weight. I like a weight. I like my patty a little thinner. I like it flat. I also like this medium rare. I like mine a little bit more medium. So, somewhat personal preference. But I'm showing you right here exactly like I like it. How I like to cook these patties. So one thing to note as well, I have my oven preheated to 200, 250 degrees. Right now it's on 270. So make sure you get your oven preheated as well. That's how we're going to melt that cheese. So while we're toasting our bun, we're going to melt our cheese. So give these another smash and a little salt and pepper on them. Again, just real basic salt and pepper on these patties. That's it. All the seasoning they've got. Just straight off ushi beef and a little salt and pepper. That's all they need. So I start to begin to check my temperature right now. Come on in your close plate and we can see what the temperature's at. This one will be somewhere about 155 or so. That's what I like them at. So we're really close right there. Perfect. I think that patty's ready. So I like my patty double cheese. Anybody who's been to the restaurant with me knows if Jordan's getting a hamburger, it's got to have double cheese. Big fan. Regular American cheese. Hey, and those dairy farmers need all the help they can get right now, like all of us in this together. Go ahead and just double that cheese on there. Those dairy guys will appreciate it too. And we'll leave one with no cheese just so we can see how it goes. So from that point, go straight into the oven. Let that cheese melt. And while we're in the oven, we'll start working on our buns. So, I like a basic bun. You can get all kind of buns out there from anything. I like a very basic bun. I'm a beef purist, so I'm gonna let my beef do the talking. So a real basic bun for me. The great thing about this flat top is that Akaushi grease is still on there. And it's got a positive ratio of monounsaturated, saturated fatty acids. So we're gonna put that bun straight on there, just like that. Let it absorb some of that fat, some of that grease. Just let it warm up while our cheese is melting. And I like to give my bun, especially the top side, a little bit of push right in the middle. Because that side, that top right there in the middle, is the hardest to get brown. I like my bun to be brown, so give it a little push right there. Make sure it's getting good and brown. Just let it warm up for just a little bit. So, some of you are probably asking, where do we get this beef? It's really simple. Just heartbrandbeef.com. Click on there. We have a full different array all the way from steaks. We have some brand new items in. We have some beef stir fry. We have outside skirts. Wonderful brand new items. So check, give those a look if you can as well. Uh, check these buns out. We'll give them a flip. See how they're doing. Oh yeah, look at that. Zoom Jordan, get a lot of good compliments saying you're doing a great job at, at work in the kitchen here. Uh, also, I think we got plenty of people that would be willing to take a take a judge's seat here, uh, ready to see the competition between you and JoJo. Great, great. Flip them over, 
Get a little front and back. There we go. Both sides. Check those buns out. So, a very important part of this whole thing is the bun. So you gotta have the bun that you like. And again, I like a real basic bun. Just a, kind of a simple bun that, that doesn't overtake my burger. So I'll set these two aside since we're just gonna make one right now for everybody to see. Let's check out this beef. Oh yeah, cheese is nice and melted. Double cheese, you gotta have the double cheese. I like mayonnaise and mustard. You can put whatever you like on it. I always put the mayonnaise on the bottom side. Nice helping of mayonnaise right there. Mustard on the top. And whenever you're doing this, don't be afraid, if you say you have 10 people over, to make this in three shifts. They'll be fine. Fry those fries hot, keep these hamburgers hot. They'll be fine with it on the product. So take your burger, put it right on bottle with that cheese up. And notice how that meat, see? We kept a smash on that patty, we kept it good and wide, and now the patty is hanging over the bun. That's what everybody likes to see. They don't like to see bun and then patty. They want to see patty, a big patty, with a bun around the top of it. I promise. Nobody ever asked for more bun when they had a burger. Everybody always wanted more patty. I go light on the vegetables. Because I, I really like that meat to shine through. And notice, Ashley did a great job cutting these onions. Look how nice and thin she cut these onions. If you get them big and thick, then you'll get a bite with straight onion. But now we have onion all the way through. Look at those beautiful tomatoes. Very nice and thin. I think she grew them out of her garden, actually. Great job, Ashley. Really good tomatoes. And plop that right on top. You can garnish it however you like it, but keep it pretty simple. Just that basic garnish right there. And now let's cut right the middle of it and show you all what we have here. See how see how that bun paint show that from the top before we cut it. See how that bun is there and then the patty's hanging over the top. And you can see it all nice like that. Yeah, doesn't get much better than that, folks. Cut right down the middle. Let's see how good of a job I did cooking. I know Austin's watching this. See how good of a job I cooked. I hope there's just a little bit of pink in there. He'd want more than me, but just a little bit of pink. Oh yeah, see just a little bit of pink in there. Nice and thin patty. Let's see how it tastes, everybody. I'll let y'all know. Good job. If I must say so myself. Well, I really had a great time with y'all today. I hope y'all enjoyed this Facebook Live and our time today. Again, I just want to remind you that Heart Brand's main mission is to provide the best beef eating experience possible. And what I hope I did today is show you how to have this great hamburger experience at home. I know we all have our favorite hamburger place, maybe a favorite restaurant. Unfortunately, we might not be able to go and dine in right now. And a takeout hamburger is just not the same. This won't travel for 15 minutes. This has got to be eaten hot and fresh. So hopefully now you can have this great beef eating experience with a cheeseburger or a hamburger at your own home. Until next time.